There's a lot of things in life that, that cause us to have to reflect and rebuild. Any examples that you can think of that really have helped you in your own life to, re, to have to kind of regroup and rebuild from a place that can seem, as the Israelites, kind of devastating? For, for me, I mean, our family went through it just what felt like a total, our family just was laid waste after we lost our son. He died of a, of a drug overdose and, you know, that in itself was so difficult, even though there were signs that that was coming, but it just never, you're never prepared to lose a child. And, and losing him, and he had two children, and our daughter got a divorce not long after he died, and I felt like it was one hit after the next, and I felt like our family had just been hit with so many 100-foot waves, and it felt like one thing was rolling out after the next, and they weren't good things. It was, a, it was a conscious thing of I'm not feeling joy anymore. And I, I just finally had the presence of mind to go to Heavenly Father and just say, I need you to show me joy because I'm not feeling it at all and I miss it. And I felt like there were days when only, <laughs> sorry, there was only Him in the room with me, you know, Heavenly Father and the Savior in the room with me, holding me together for that day. And it, it was just this sweeping in of just opening my eyes, even to just things like a blue sky, or I called it my Snow White moment, where it was just kind of like, oh, the birds. And, you know, <laughs> it was just that moment of seeing that God was ever present and he'd never left me and, he, and the joy was there. I just needed to ask to see it. And then it, and then it came and it, and it just kept rolling in. And, and that, was very, that was very comforting at that time to just know, to just look at the little things and see God's hand in in, in everything every day and that he hadn't gone anywhere. Just me, I'd, I'd gone somewhere for a while.